Hello, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 17, and I got a Vegas Pro 17 text tutorial for you how to do the Star Wars crawl. So, if you're ready to do an exposition dump of epic proportions, this is the tutorial for you. I'm sorry, there's no Vegas uh, Movie Studios tutorial for this because uh, it is a pro. Now, it doesn't have to be Pro 17, um, but it does need to be Vegas Pro because Vegas Pro has the composite mode that makes this possible. Now, let's go ahead and get started. So, first, uh, let's go to the Media Generators tab and just have that pulled up right here and then go to your timeline and right click and insert video track and then do that again and you'll have two video tracks that's what you need you can add your audio in uh, at your leisure later so the next thing we're gonna do is go to noise and texture and we're gonna grab the starry sky so these textures are actually really helpful they're just not helpful in their current form so most people see this and they're like I'm never gonna use this and they don't but uh, you can actually manipulate it a lot to turn it into a lot of different things and all these things can be animated as well we don't have to really animate anything we just want to emulate that Star Wars starry sky so we're gonna go to the first color and we're gonna turn that white and we're gonna leave the second color black because that looks like space and then we're going to go to uh, frequency and we're going to add a little bit more to the X and Y axis there and look at that that looks like a nice set of stars there we go so now you got your stars generated for your Star Wars effect uh, we're gonna drop that to the bottom track here so next you need to go to credit roll now this is a bit of an older effect on uh, Vegas so I can imagine in the newer versions they may be updating this uh, and if they do we'll do an updated tutorial uh, but right now this is the best and easiest way to do it so you can animate it uh, but this is by far the most simple quick easy way to do it grab the scrolling on transparent credit roll and drop it right over top of your stars and so you can see here we got the start of something beautiful you have scrolling text over top of stars that's so close so next uh, you can edit all these things by just typing Star Wars off brand you know whatever no affiliation with Lucasfilms here and so uh, you can change the color to anything you want with this color picker and then you can see the color there and that is how to do the basics of the effects editing and then these next ones you're gonna want to get rid of these these right here is the style right these little dot 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 dots uh, to get rid of that you can click this uh, standard paragraph style and you can just make each one of these a line of text this is a line of text this too is also a line of text And this here is a line of text. All right, so now we got some lines of text. You can, uh, the actual Star Wars uh, stuff has a uh, different fonts or whatever, so you can actually change your fonts. You can go, uh, your header will have a different font and color uh, than your other things if that's uh, by default, but if you choose to make it the same, you can. So I've installed this kind of Star Wars-y kind of font on my computer now obviously for your project you need to use whatever you want this is just a free font I saw online it is not the exact Star Wars font because that would be bad so uh, it also uh, capital O's turn into N's for some reason so lowercase O's turn into capital O's I don't know why that's just how that font is so the next thing is uh, maybe I want all these lines of fonts to be this font right here but I want it to be yellow uh, as well so you can go to the color picker right here and pick the first color that you selected for your header and now they're all the exact same color you don't have to worry about mismatching or anything so now we're just a little bit closer now you see some Star Wars-esque font floating over stars and scrolling but we're still not there this is where it gets Vegas pro -y. so you go to this hamburger menu on your text track and then you need to hit composite mode 3d source alpha 3d source alpha will let you actually manipulate this track as if it's a 3d source instead of just a 2d source since that is selected you can actually go to track motion 
and I need to make this bigger. Now this track motion isn't like motion tracking. This is different. This is how you can keyframe and move the actual motion of your video track. It's not tracking motion, it's moving a track. It's a little different. So it's a bit confusing um, if, when now that they have actual motion tracking in the software as well, uh, but this is different. This is, we're going to manipulate it like this and see look how cool that is so first I'm gonna hit control Z and show you a little bit more what I'm doing so these are all the different directions and things you can you can manipulate and flip your text and and make it just a 3d object that you can move around I'm gonna hit control Z a few times till this looks normal again uh, because really there's only one thing we need to flip on this perspective is uh, we need to go to this top perspective here and grab the middle line the Z axis and move it down or up I'm sorry move it up now we got a Star Wars crawl because it's it's mouse moving it's always a little difficult to get it exactly where you want it but there you go there's a good little Star Wars crawl there so now we can watch it back boom Star Wars crawl and anything that you do that with and animate will have that same kind of, of effect. So that is the Star Wars crawl. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We're almost 2,000 subs. You guys are awesome. Uh, let me know if you have any tutorial ideas. If you're a patron member, you get to vote on them. Uh, also, let me know as well if you have any other thoughts or concerns about the channel, and I would love to address them. And anything you buy through my affiliates links really helps us out a lot. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.